listening comprehension. Welcome to the exam. In a moment, your teacher is going to give out the question papers. When you get your paper, fill in your name, centre number, and candidate number on the front page. Do not talk to anyone during the test. If you would like the tape to be louder, tell your teacher now. The tape will not be stopped while you are doing the test. Teacher, please give out the question papers, and when all the candidates are ready to start the test, please turn the tape back on. Now you are all ready. Here is the test. Look at the questions for part one. There are six questions in this part of the exam. You will hear each question twice. For each question, you will hear the situation described as it is on your exam paper. Part one, questions one to six. For questions one to six, you will hear a series of short sentences. Answer each question on the line provided. Your answer should be as brief as possible. You will hear each item twice. Question one. Dinesh is in his local supermarket. Where exactly is the olive oil to be found? Give two details. Excuse me. Where is the olive oil, please? It's in row sixteen, next to the tins of tomatoes. Excuse me, where is the olive oil, please? It's in row sixteen, next to the tins of tomatoes. Question two. Will is at the petrol station. How much is the fuel bill, and what else is he looking for? Pump number ten, please. That's twenty pounds fifty, please. Thank you. Do you sell newspapers? Yes, over there next to the map books. Pump number ten, please. That's twenty pounds fifty, please. Thank you. Do you sell newspapers? Yes, over there next to the map books. Question three. Give two details about where in the book you will find your chemistry homework exercises. For your chemistry homework, please complete the ten questions in the exercise at the end of chapter twelve. You will find them on page one hundred and forty-five. For your chemistry homework. Please complete the ten questions in the exercise at the end of Chapter Twelve. You will find them on page one hundred and forty-five. Question four. It is break time on Patel's first day at college. Where may he purchase a drink? Name two places. Can you tell me where I could buy a drink, please? There's a snack bar on the first floor next to the lift. Hot drinks are sold there. Otherwise, there's a drinks machine next to the gym which sells Coke or lemonade. That might be quicker. Can you tell me where I could buy a drink, please? There's a snack bar on the first floor next to the lift. Hot drinks are sold there. Otherwise, there's a drinks machine next to the gym which sells Coke or lemonade. That might be quicker. Question five. List two ways in which the weather will change. The weather tomorrow will be dry and cool with maximum daytime temperature of nine degrees. The outlook for the rest of the week is becoming warmer, brighter, and clearer, with daytime temperatures rising to 14 degrees.
The weather tomorrow will be dry and cool with maximum daytime temperature of 9 degrees. The outlook for the rest of the week is becoming warmer, brighter and clearer with daytime temperatures rising to 14 degrees. Question 6. Which two instruments are needed to complete the college orchestra? We need musicians for the college orchestra. We have enough flutes and clarinets, but still need more trumpets and a reliable piano player. We need musicians for the college orchestra. We have enough flutes and clarinets, but still need more trumpets and a reliable piano player. That is the last question in part one. In a moment, you will hear part two. Now look at the questions for exercise two. Listen to the following interview about the perfume making industry and then complete the notes below. You will hear the interview twice. Have you ever wondered how perfume is made and why it is so expensive? Today I am in Grasse in the south of France at a centuries-old perfume factory where I am going to find out more about the perfume making industry. Monsieur Fragonard, could you tell us, please, how and why the perfume industry grew up in Grass? Certainly. Grass is a medieval town, and for many hundreds of years, it has been a source of the extremely expensive waxy extract from flowers, which provides the basis of expensive perfumes. But why has the industry here become so successful? Well, our sense of smell allows us to bring alive memories and images more than any other sense. A certain perfume will remind us, for example, of an occasion, whether it was our first date or maybe it was what our friend was wearing in the examination room. That is why perfume is so important. Anyway, to answer your question, Grass didn't start out as a perfume-making centre. What do you mean? Until the 16th century, Grass was a famous glove-making town. Then some of the noblemen complained about the smell of the leather in the gloves which they had bought. They wanted them scented with flowers from Provence. Uh, that is the region in which our town is situated, famous for its fragrant fields and hedgerows. So that was how it started. Scented gloves. That's right. Perfume making in the 16th century was very labour intensive. That is, it was hard work. First, flowers had to be boiled in copper vats, or, by another method, the blossoms and blooms had to be rubbed into fat, which slowly absorbed the scent. Then everything had to be washed with alcohol to separate the perfume from the fats. Is the process very different nowadays? Oh, yes. Just look at our factory. It was actually designed by Gustav Eiffel in 1890. Do you mean the same Monsieur Eiffel who designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris? Absolutely. Anyway, today we extract the scent from flowers using chemicals. It sounds easy. Yes, but still a long process. We gather flowers from the fields around our town, high up in the hills at dawn. The flowers, mainly jasmine, violets and roses, must still have dew on them. One metric tonne of blooms, ten million flowers, produces three kilograms of perfume essence, and one kilogram costs 15,000 euros. Are you the only factory producing perfume in the area? No, there are 40 perfume houses, as we like to call ourselves, but the public may only visit three of them. I'd like to make a new perfume. You can. Come and visit us, and for 25 euros, we'll help you create a fragrance and keep its recipe as a secret for your use only. Monsieur Fragonard, many thanks.
Now you will hear the interview again. Have you ever wondered how perfume is made, and why it is so expensive? Today I am in Grasse in the south of France, at a centuries-old perfume factory, where I am going to find out more about the perfume-making industry. Monsieur Fragonard, could you tell us, please, how and why the perfume industry grew up in Grasse? Certainly. Grasse is a medieval town, and for many hundreds of years. It has been a source of the extremely expensive waxy extract from flowers, which provides the basis of expensive perfumes. But why has the industry here become so successful? Well, our sense of smell allows us to bring alive memories and images more than any other sense. A certain perfume will remind us, for example, of an occasion, whether it was our first date or maybe it was what our friend was wearing in the examination room. That is why perfume is so important. Anyway, to answer your question, Grasse didn't start out as a perfume-making centre. What do you mean? Until the 16th century, Grasse was a famous glove-making town. Then some of the noblemen complained about the smell of the leather in the gloves which they had bought. They wanted them scented with flowers from Provence.、Uh, that is the region in which our town is situated, famous for its fragrant fields and hedgerows. So that was how it started. Scented gloves. That's right. Perfume making in the 16th century was very labour intensive. That is, it was hard work. First, flowers had to be boiled in copper vats, or by another method, the blossoms and blooms had to be rubbed into fat, which slowly absorbed the scent. Then everything had to be washed with alcohol to separate the perfume from the fats. Is the process very different nowadays? Oh yes. Just look at our factory. It was actually designed by Gustave Eiffel in 1890. Do you mean the same Monsieur Eiffel who designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris? Absolutely. Anyway, today we extract the scent from flowers using chemicals. It sounds easy. Yes, but still a long process. We gather flowers from the fields around our town, high up in the hills at dawn. The flowers, mainly jasmine, violets, and roses, must still have dew on them. One metric ton of blooms, ten million flowers, produces three kilograms of perfume essence, and one kilogram costs fifteen thousand euros. Are you the only factory producing perfume in the area? No, there are forty perfume houses, as we like to call ourselves, but the public may only visit three of them. I'd like to make a new perfume. You can. Come and visit us. And for twenty-five euros, we'll help you create a fragrance and keep its recipe as a secret for your use only. Monsieur Fragonard, many thanks.